Good morning guys, you're joining me at the fantastic Auburn's Lakes again and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Now this lake is known for its big bream and its carp, full of carp anglers all year but like most carp venues they're absolutely full of roach. Now I fished for roach here in November, I've got a massive bag of roach and lots of fish over a pound. So touch wood, I'm down here today, I'm going to fish the pole and I'm going to fish for roach. So today I'm going to be targeting the roach and it's going to be a really simple mix today. I'm using the so natural ground baits. If I put any fish meal in, the chances are I'm going to get bombarded by carp. This lake is full of them. So, simple mix today. A bag of so natural Black River. A bag of so natural Black Lake. And a bag of a brilliant so natural Black Roach. Right guys, so I've set up and my plan of action today is I'm going to feed really heavy at 13 metres. Now, these fish in here have been used to people spawning. It is dominantly a carp lake. And what happens is they spawn all the time, there's loads of bait going in. So these fish are hearing that, we're used to hearing that dinner bell ring. So I'm going to give it 10 balls at 13 metres. That's why I've mixed a lot of ground weight up. And the chances are I'll feed again during the day. Now I've got to give that line some time to settle. So while I'm giving that line some time to settle, I'm just going to feed a line with a few pinkies at probably six or seven metres, just so I can maybe see if there's a few little fish there for me to catch a few before I go on that long line after about an hour. So that's my plan of attack, and hopefully we'll catch a few. So I'm going to be feeding 10 balls of ground bait on the start of that 13 metre line. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to use a big cup of the cupping kits Put in one, two. Nine, ten. Right, so that's what I'm gonna feed on that initial line. I'm also gonna add a tin of empty to that, because I'm fishing for roach, get a bit of stuff on the bottom, and they can feed on that. I'll hold them down, hopefully. And there's some water in that hemp as well, as you can see, the oily water. Put that in with your ground bait, because that We'll flicker off the bottom, our oil will come up and it'll pull them fish in. So I'm just going to pour that straight into that mix. And I'm also going to add a handful of casters. So a good handful of casters. And mix that round. Now black roach, black river and black lake are sticky ground baits and that's the plan going in a hard ball, hit the bottom, and break up when it gets down on the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed casters and a few mags over the top of that line until I start to fish it. Now here's a great little tip for you. If you can see there, I've just put two and a half pints of cast and there's a few floaters on the top. Now don't throw them away. Although they're floating, when you put your hook in them, they'll sink and they're absolutely brilliant as the hook bait because it slows the fall down because they're quite buoyant. So there we go, 10 balls of ground bait, all ready for action. Let's fill it in and catch some roach. Well, I've been fishing for about two hours now and it's absolutely freezing. I'm not going to lie, I've frozen, but um, I'm catching a few roach. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad on this microphone, but it's, uh, it's a bit blowy. I've had a couple of roach over a pound, but I've 
probably got 25 roach for probably they're not little roach most of them are good size so I'd say probably eight nine pound I have caught some at six meters but the bigger roach I've caught long at 13 so that wind's really got up now it hasn't It'll probably make the lake tow a little bit to be fair. Double maggot has been best. I've tried a single maggot but it doesn't make the bites any quicker. I'm fishing for bigger fish on that longer line. I've been pinging a few casters and a bit of hemp and a few maggots on that line. I'm laying about two inches of line on the bottom. But when it starts to tow I might have to deepen it a little bit longer. There we go when we're in. There's like a small roach. Curse of the camera could be the smallest one of the day. I'd say it's about seven, eight foot deep there. There we go. It's small, but they're not really small. <laughs> I'm saying small roach there. Between three and four ounces, what I'd call is the small ones. I've got a line at. Uh, six and a half meters so I'm just going to keep dropping a ball of ground back in there I've had some fish on that line to be fair I just really want to catch on this long line I'm just going to keep topping that short line up just throw a ball of ground back every now and again I am going to try and catch on that long line I've just fed again on that long line see if it drags a few fish in. So the water is really cold. I will take the temperature of the water. See what we're up against. There has been a few carp caught in the last couple of days but it's been a westerly wind. It's a proper northerly today and I think it's taking the edge off the temperature. It's such a big lake it's, it takes a while to get these fish to come in and feed and they don't get fish for. These roach don't get fish for. These are virgin fish, never seen a hook before most of them. The only food they get is when people the people spawn when they're fishing for carp, spawn or spawn. They in intercept the bait as it's falling through the water for the carp. Got bits of hemp and micros and that sort of thing that people are bits of ground bait that people are spotting or spawning. Oh there we go. We're in. <laughs> Uh, another small roach, I think. Definitely camera curse. Well, that is a really small roach. Look at that. Wow. Two ounces. If I'm lucky. Smallest fish I've had out on that line. It's funny, you get a little run of them, really, when these big roaches turn up. So when I fished earlier on, well, the end of last year, I think it was November time, I must have had between 50 and 60 pound of roach. And I had a run of roach over a pound. I must have caught 10 in 10 chucks. It was just like the shoulder big roach just turned up. Just changed my bait there to a red and a white maggot. It's the first time I put a white maggot on with it today. See if it makes any difference. I'm really not quite sure which is the best way to feed them today. All the time in my mind I'm thinking what's the best way to feed them. What's going to make me get bites quicker. Seems that by putting a little bit of food in every now and again does encourage a bite. She's a little bit wary of that because it's very cold. Water's very cold, as I said. This is a big lake. You need the, the, they've got to try and find a bite. And normally, oh, oh, I missed a bite. Normally, it takes a good two or three hours for them proper roach to turn up. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll catch a few as the day goes on. Oh, there we go. That's a better roach. Beautiful. No, 
almost want a red and white maggot. So I'll try that again. So just keep feeding a few maggots over the top. 10 or 12 maggots at a time. Oh, a little indication then. Just lower that rig in gently in a straight line. I've just fed a ball on that longer line and now I'm going to go back on on that six metre line. So I've had a few fish on that line so just to say, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a breather out long and see if I can catch anything on this shorter line. So last time I fished it I caught a few, I think I had about eight or nine ropes so just, just give this short line a try and see if we can get a bite on that. Oh no it's starting to rain not really the best best for the cameras and normally it's quite instant when I go on it I'll get a bite quite quickly but that's because I've rested it for a while you know a bit of a bite there Just ping a few maggots in there over that line I do apologise I'm trying to juggle my cameras with the rain it's starting to rain now and uh, I'm trying to get as much camera action as I can cameras and water don't normally mix well. There are quite a few pike in this lake as well and I don't think that helps when you're trying to catch the rope. There's still some massive, massive roach in this lake. So it's not hectic. But every now and again you get a little run of bites on the short line. It also could be the fact it could be carp swimming close in and, and, and dispersing the roach, you know. It's, it could be all matter of things why you can't line them up like you would do oh, oh, just a bite. smaller commercial it's just the size of this lake that makes the difference it's huge um, I don't know how big they said it was 22 acres I think I think you should know I've been here enough times <laughs> but I just love this big lake it's it's so daunting you never really know what you're going to catch you sit down with a plan and Sometimes a plan goes to work, sometimes it doesn't. It, it's, it's one of them. It's, it's so unknown. Most of these roaches that we're fishing for today have never been hooked before. Oh, there we go, and I'm in. Yeah, and all I did there was flick me rig the other direction. So, just... only a small one. Two or three ounces, maybe, maybe a little bit bigger. So flip from your rig to the right. The wind is blowing from right to left. And it's so easy to lay your rig in with the wind. So your rig is down. Straight but I flicked it against the wind there. And just hold putting a few maggots on it. I can't really throw them because the wind's a bit strong. Just flick a few maggots around it with my catapult. I've got a swan here trying to eat my keep net. And them cameras off. It's gonna get wet. On my 13 meter line, I'm using a one gram intercarbon with a strung out bulk of number eight shot with a one number ten dropper. And my hook choice is a size 18 N10 to 09. On my 6 metre line, my chosen float today was a 4x16 silvers with a long strung out bulk with number 10 shot spaced an inch apart with the bottom shot being 10 inches from my hook. With my hook choice being a size 20 N10 to 08. Well, it's been a really strange day, I've got to say. Um, very hard today. Started off really well this morning before I put my cameras on, and I thought, well, I'll catch a few first before I put my cameras on. Unfortunately, it started to rain. We had rain for about two hours, and I never had a bite in them two hours, so I probably caught seven or eight pounds in the first hour and a half. And then I've struggled 
for the next hour and a half, two hours after that. I don't think I had a bite in two hours. And now the last sort of hour or so, the sun's come out. And I almost binned this video because I wasn't catching anything, but I've managed to line a few little fish up on, well, say little three, four ounce roach on this six meter line where I've been pinging a few pinkies. Um, I'm just getting odd bites, but if you get a bite, they're good fish. So I've turned my cameras back on, guys, and just see if I can catch anything while the cameras are on. But I've had to pack my cameras away. It was absolutely pouring down the rain. The sun's come out and I've, things have dried up a little bit, so I've got them back out again. But just hoping I can catch a few fish for the camera now. Now the sun's come out. And on my bait tray today, I've got some hemp, some fluorescent pinkies, red maggots, and some casters. looking to my right now it looks like we might have some rain on the way again but oh there we go that's a better fish that's no, not just a little roach there we go two or three ounces probably three ounce roach I've just nicked a few on this short line in the last sort of half an hour I've probably had 14 or 15 roach 14 or 15 roach they'll probably go I'd say three pound they're, they're good fish I'd say five five fish to the pound There's a couple of better ones in there six seven ounces but they average sort of like three ounces between three and four ounces and all I've done is I've stopped feeding ground bait. I'm just pinging five, six pinkies over this line. But they're not ravenous. They, I have to really force them to feed. Lifting and dropping my rig all the time. It's been a really strange day. It's, I suppose the water, because the water's really cold. I mean, when that rain came, it becomes so cold. I mean, I, to be fair, I even stopped fishing and went and sat in my van because my van's directly behind me it was so cold i couldn't feel my hands but you wouldn't believe this is the same day the sun's out now it's bright it's a lot oh it's a bite then but i haven't had a massive bag of fish today but the conditions have been very bad that's a very strong northerly wind today and that is a cold wind just try to irritate these fish into feeding. They're, they're not really feeding properly. It's, it must be the cold water I'm dropping all the time. Just try and irritate a fish into feeding. And just out of the blue, you get a you get a dig. So I think the fish are there. It was very cold when I got there this morning. My van was saying two degrees when I left my house. I got to the venue. It was saying four degrees definitely gone cold since that rain started the minute that sun goes in that feels really cold definitely better fish on that long line There we go. 
beautiful fish. And we're in again on that line. So there's a few fish on that long line again now. <laughs> what a numpty. Well guys, what another fantastic day I've had on the bank today. Now I would like to say it's been absolutely prolific. But it's been tough. I've had to work really, really hard to get bites today. And how I caught last time when I caught a big white, I just couldn't catch like that. So I've had to work extremely hard, lifting and dropping my rig, putting my rig from side to side, messing around with my shotting patterns all day. But I've still managed to catch a few. Let's have a look at what I've caught. Well guys, what a fantastic day I've had on the bank. In excess of 20 pound there, considering it's been a tough day. Some great big ropes there, look at them. Must be close to a pound. Take care guys, stay safe, and I'll see you on the bank sometime. Bye for now.